I am Jared Fervegoli from uh, ISPRA and welcome to the webinar on the EU-China uh, Water Strategic Research and Innovation Agenda uh, of the PIANO project. The PIANO project uh, is supported by the European Commission uh, within uh, the uh, Horizon 2020 program. So let's see the summary of the presentation. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll have uh, an overview of the work package number four of the PIANO project. Uh, the work package is uh, uh, divided into four tasks. Uh, the first task is a 4A, comparative analysis of the existing research and innovation agenda uh, with China. Task 4B is proposal of a shared research agenda. And 4C, the proposal of a shared innovation agenda. And finally, 4D is a proposal of a shared research and innovation agenda. Then we'll see the Piano Online survey, domains and technologies, this rear. And finally, the proposal for implementation plan. Uh, the Piano project promotes uh, knowledge exchange and policy dialogue to build uh, an environment for uptake the um, technological water innovations uh, with a great potential for implementation, replication, and market uptake uh, in uh, China. And also, the Piano project supports a shared innovation. And uh, strategic research and innovation agenda between uh, Europe and China in the water sector. Uh, in particular, uh, the work package number four uh, regards the elaboration of a shared uh, strategic research and innovation agenda. So the uh, Piano Sria aims to support the activities uh, of the China-Europe uh, water platform as a reference document uh, that aids the implementation of the initiatives of a joint uh, uh, cooperation between Europe and China. What about the uh, work package number four? Mm, we already said that the uh, work package is uh, divided into four subtasks. Uh, the first task, uh, 4A, is a comparative analysis of the existing research and innovation agendas. 4B and 4C are proposal of a shared uh, research and innovation agenda, respectively, and 4D is the finalization of a shared research and innovation agenda. So, in uh, 2014, the China Europe Water Platform defined uh, three focus areas um, mm, that are called the uh, water challenges so the rural water, urban water, the river basin management, uh, and also the uh, water and energy uh, was added to the list. So, uh, the Piano project uh, added an additional domain the industrial water. And Europe has uh, historically faced uh, similar water challenges uh, and transfer of European water technologies might be an important step to solve a large number of the, these challenges. So first step for building a shared research innovation agenda uh, is a comparative analysis of the existing reports uh, and uh, innovation agendas developed in uh, Europe and China. So uh, all the revised documents uh, and SRIA uh, allowed us to classify um, all, uh, almost all the water uh, challenges within five broad categories. Uh, these are water scarcity, water pollution, droughts and flows, ecosystem degradation and water infrastructure. Mm, the agenda that uh, we take uh, um, as a uh, reference um, were international agendas and national agendas. Uh, among the international agendas, uh, we have the, water, uh, the WSSTP, European Technological Platform of Water Agenda, the Water JPI, the Strategic Research and Innovation Agenda, uh, the EIP, Partnership for Water, AQUO, ASEM, and also the Chinese One, the Chinese Water Resource Management Challenge, so-called the D3 Red Lines. Among the national agendas, uh, we um, consider the Spanish, uh, the Finnish, uh, and the Italian ones. U using the national and the international agendas, uh, mm, we defined the domains and challenges, uh, and uh, we uh, decided to focus on uh, the main act actions, the priority actions. Um, for the research agenda, there could be uh, for example, uh, those are listed here, so develop water uh, conserving farming and forestry or tools for assessing water cost, modeling, emerging pollutants, and so on. And for the innovation agenda, there could be 
DSS irrigation technologies, remediation technologies, uh, wastewater treatment technologies, real-time monitoring and control system, for example. And here you can see the Strategic uh, Research and Innovation Agenda report, where at the annex 9.1 is the research agenda and 9.2 the innovation agenda. And in the first column you can see the drivers, uh, water challenges, and the other are the domains, and here are the actions. A particular attention mm, was given to uh, the WSSTP, Water JPI agendas, EIP, and three red lines. And important topics for each challenge and domain were identified in order to finalize the uh, SRIA. Here you can see the water challenges uh, in the first column, the domain, and the others, and the actions. How to do this? A questionnaire, a piano online questionnaire. The piano online questionnaire was produced for collecting the opinions about the research priorities to be addressed, both in terms of objectives and topics of interest. And it was also asked to indicate which actions should be primary considered, so the priority actions within each of the water domains. The water domains are agriculture, municipal water management, industrial water management, river basin management, and water for energy. So the scheme of water challenges priority thematic areas that you have already seen has been worked out taking into account the results of the comparative analysis and the um, results of the work package number two, that it was the identification of the European technological water innovations and areas for joint development of technological solutions that have a potential for implementation in China. All the replies uh, uh, of the questionnaire um, submitted to this survey were analyzed, aggregated and taken into consideration for the development uh, of the SRIA. The questionnaire consisted in uh, six sections. The first was about the information on the respondent. The other five were um, about uh, each of the four, five uh, water domains uh, and uh, uh, were required to assign a priority to the actions. And the last section asking for a classification of the most appropriate uh, actions to achieve the piano objectives uh, following uh, the definition of uh, Horizon 2020 research and innovation actions, uh, so called RIA or IA. The Overall results of the survey are presented in the SRIA and for each challenge different priorities have been identified. Here you can see the challenges and also the type of actions. The type of actions because the survey also asked the state uh, to state the application fields considered more relevant uh, as a research innovation or only innovation or research and innovation actions. And then at the last column you can see the SDGs goals. SDG is uh, the Sustainable Development Goals set out uh, uh, by the United Nations uh, in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. So each priority action is uh, linked to the specific goals. So, and uh, here in the report you can see the following SDGs that have been identified as priorities uh, uh, to, uh, for the piano project. They are number six, uh, clean water and sanitation, seven, affordable and clean energy, eight, decent work and economic growth, nine, industry innovation and infrastructure, eleven, sustainable cities and communities, twelve, responsible consumption and production, thirteen, climate action, 14 life below water and 15 life on land. Then for a better understanding an annex to the piano online questionnaire was provided. So the annex focused on the following topics. The issues related to the five domains, the measures uh, to be undertaken, objectives, and the relevant research and innovation activities to be adopted. And last, the technologies to be adopted. So the annex highlight the innovative technologies available in the EU that have potential application in China, evaluated under the work package number two. And uh, here you can see the TWI, so the uh, technological uh, water innovations. In this case, uh, an example for the domain uh, water for energy. 
the, for each domain, the principal uh, EU technological innovations have been reported. Uh, by the way, the technological uh, water innovations are meant to serve as uh, direct recommendations uh, to the, those uh, specific uh, technologies. So the uh, three proposal uh, is also based on the activities carried out by the work package number three which was uh, um, identifying drivers and barriers for transfer and replica replication of uh, water innovations uh, uh, of the solution uh, method by the work package number two uh, to China, and also outline possible strategies to uh, overcome such barriers. So the, this RIA uh, mm, defines for each of the five domains focused by the project the innovation needs and the priority actions uh, for the main challenges in the water sector identified for the EU-China cooperation. So let's see uh, the, uh, <coughs> uh, for each domain and each challenge which, were, which are the um, uh, priority actions uh, considered and proposed. Uh, for the first domain, uh, agriculture, water management, uh, and the first challenge, water scarcity, we consider uh, the implementation uh, of water saving policies, water recovery, and uh, uh, irrigation technologies, for example. For the challenge number two, water pollution, uh, a possible uh, uh, priority action could be nutrients and pesticide reduction through adequate management. For challenge number three, extreme, extreme events such as roads and floods, uh, monitoring and extreme events uh, management forecasting could be a priority action. Regarding domain number two, municipal water management, and the first challenge, water scarcity. Main uh, priority actions could be uh, water saving technologies and wastewater use, desalination technology, recovery, energy, and raw material technology. This is an update of a circular economy. Um, challenge number two, water pollution. The main uh, actions could be risk assessment and management tools, monitoring and removing, uh, removing technologies. Challenge number three, extreme events. <coughs> Main actions could be storm water management and system for fluid and drugs uh, assessment and a <coughs> decision support system as well. Challenge number four, ecosystem degradation. Mm, main uh, <coughs> topics uh, could be methods for the, uh, to determine uh, environmental flow needs which could cause the ecosystem degradation. And challenge number five, water infrastructure with water collection improvement, monitoring and management technologies. Let's see the, let's see the domain number three, industrial water management. Um, regarding the first challenge, water scarcity, uh, we proposed uh, as a priority actions the technologies for closing the cycle gap, so recovery energy and raw material um, technologies from sludge and wastewater, and uh, um, for challenge number two, water pollution, the main uh, priority actions could be um, monitoring and treatment technologies uh, and advanced water treatment technologies, uh, such as, uh, for example, membrane technologies, advanced biological treatment, solid separation, and so on. Regarding domain number four, river basin management and fluid control. Challenge number one, water scarcity. Uh, the main uh, topics could be monitoring and management technologies and aquifer management. Challenge number two, water pollution. The main actions, uh, new technologies for contaminated remediation and uh, water pollution monitoring parameters. Challenge number three, extreme events, new remote sensor technologies or forecasting monitoring system. Challenge number four, ecosystem degradation, new water management scheme or restoration methodologies for aquatic systems. The last domain, water for energy. Mm, the first challenge, water scarcity. The main uh, priority action could be industrial water reuse improvement and new technologies uh, in uh, hydropower plant improvement, for example. So, uh, which are the steps towards an implementation plan? The SRIA should be, first of all, assimilated and implemented through common actions. It's needed transdisciplinary research and development of innovative solutions that they have be to be adapted to the realities of a different region and easily transferable across it. So the activities will be planned in synergy and complementarity 
with many initiatives, such as Water JPI, Erdenet, MED, uh, WSSTP program actions, and so on. In the specific, we consider the implementation plan that sh should be carried out uh, uh, following nine steps. The first step is make water a formal component uh, of future EU-China agenda. The second is better exploit the existing infrastructure. So then the third, better align and utilize existing infrastructure to build on water challenges. The fourth, improve connections between member states and Chinese infrastructure. Fifth, align multiple components of the EU water innovation support system with Chinese counterparts. Six, enact uh, a process for regular dialogue between uh, MOST, MAP, uh, for Water JPI, Eureka, and so on. Seven, discuss joint actions to overcome potential policy barriers. Eight, provide uh, strategic support to overcome common market barriers. And nine, align visions with these SD global goals and consider future collaboration on global uh, water innovation challenges. Thank you for your attention.